Do not spend this wheat penny. If you guys find these in coin collections, uh, you know, uh, maybe possibly from the bank, these can be super, super valuable. So do not spend these. If you have one of these, you definitely want to get it graded and authenticated, and then you can resell for more money. So welcome back to Couch Collectibles. Hope you guys are having an awesome day as always. Uh, today we're going to be looking at wheat pennies that are worth some good money, even in not so great condition, all because of their rarity. All right, guys starting off here with a 1914 D mint mark wheat penny now this is a key date coin so even in bad condition these coins will sell uh, very easily because they only produced a little over 1.1 million of these pennies um, so the coin is only graded at good details you know uh, it's not in the best condition and the coin still sold for over one hundred dollars now if you have this coin in a very very high grade which is very good condition then you are talking thousands of dollars all right so also the 1917 this is what you want to look for on your 1917 wheat pennies is a doubled die obverse so look for that doubling inspect your coins with your coin microscopes i have those available on my amazon affiliate link couch collectibles amazon affiliate link in the comments below also, uh, couchcollectibles.com for everything else. Coin roll hunting mats and all that good stuff is on couchcollectibles.com. I'll put both links in the comments below. Uh, but this coin's only graded at a good four, so very low on the coin grading scale. 70 is the best you can get. And the coin still sold for over $180 because it has that doubling on the obverse of the coin. So again, if it was in better condition, it could have sold for thousands of dollars. We want to look for the 1922 wheat penny that is missing the D mint mark. So all these pennies in 1922 is supposed to have a D mint mark. They only produced the 1922 D and they produced over 7.1 million of those coins. However, if you find one without a D mint mark, then you could be in for some money. Because this coin at an AG3 grade, you see how bad of condition this coin is, uh, sold for $345 at auction, all because of uh, all because of that missing D mint mark. So super rare to have that coin. Now, here's a 1924 D mint mark. Now, they produced just over 2.5 million of these coins. I feel like the 1924 D kind of gets... Uh, overlooked because you got the 1931S, 1909S uh, VDB, you got the 1914D. So always look for the 1924D as well because this coin sold for over $100 graded at an XF40. Now here's the 1931S. So this is what I was talking about. This is also graded at an XF40 sold for around $100 as well. Uh, for the 1931S, they did produce just 866,000 of these coins. Um, so they can be extremely valuable if they're in very, very good condition. All right, here's the 1936 doubled die obverse. Uh, one of my uh, favorite coins to look for when searching wheat pennies, of course. Uh, you know, you want to look for this doubling. Here's images showing you doubling to look for on the 1936 wheat penny. Now, this coin is not a very high grade. It's graded at an XF40. It's not super low, not super high. Uh, you know, the best grade you can get is a 70. Now, if you had this coin at a mint state 70 grade, you would be talking a lot of money, thousands and thousands of dollars. So in this grade, uh, an XF40 grade by PCGS, the coin ended up selling for $161 at auction. It's super rare to uh, find the 1936 doubled die obverse penny. All right, next up is a 1941. I feel like not many people talk about this one. This is the 1941 doubled die obverse. So again, you want to look for that doubling on the front of the coin. Now, this is a very, very common coin. 1941, they produced over 800 million of these coins. Um, so they are not rare to have. But if you find one with the double die obverse, then it can give it that extra value. So even at a grade of an XF40, the coin still sold for around $90. Again, if you had it at a much higher grade, it would sell for a lot more money. Now, for the 1944 wheat penny, again, these are very, very common coins. They produced over a billion of these coins. So for the 1944 
uh, D Mint Mark. They produced over 430 million of these coins. Uh, it's very common to have a 1944 penny. However, you want to look at the Mint Mark very, very closely with your coin loops or coin microscopes again uh, for the D over the S Mint Mark. That's what you want to look for on the 1944 D Lincoln Wheat Penny. So this coin ended up selling for $80 in this condition. Again, had it been in much better condition, it could have sold for a lot more money. Now here is the 1955, famous 1955 double die obverse. Of course, I have to throw this in here to always remind people and educate new uh, viewers that are coming to the channel uh, that you know are not really familiar with this. This is a very, very uh, rare coin. And the coin sold for over $1,300 in this condition at an XF40 grade. Uh, if you have these immense state grade, uh, they're selling for tens of thousands of dollars. So, uh, super, super rare coin. Uh, one that I am going to add to my collection one day. I don't have it yet, but uh, I do have a lot of cool coins. But this is the one that I'm definitely missing. I have the 1972 double die, the 1995, and some other coins. But... Um, not the 1955. I definitely have to add this one. This is a, a super, uh, a super rare one. All right, so $1,300 for that coin. Now, 1956 wheat pennies are very common as well. But if you find the 1956 D with the D over the D mint mark, a repunched mint mark, RPM, uh, then that will give the coin some extra value. This coin sold for $124 at auction all because of that repunched D mint mark. So again, inspect your coins with the coin microscope very, very closely uh, because you never know what you might find. You know, people pass up 1956 pennies all day long. People have wheat pennies in their coin collections that they don't really inspect under a microscope and look for double dies and repunched mint marks and things like that. So if you purchase coin collections, inherit a coin collection, inspect each coin individually uh, very closely so you don't pass up something that can be valuable. All right, guys, don't forget to subscribe in the middle. Feel free to check out the videos to the left of me. And until tomorrow, I'll see you guys in the comment section below. This is Couch Collectibles and this is where I disappear.